Hi, this is Andy from Nutritional News, and today we're going to investigate the early signs that can indicate that you may have prediabetes. Prediabetes is a condition in which a person has blood sugar levels that are quite high but not yet high enough for a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. Prediabetes has the potential to progress into type 2 diabetes within 5 years if the condition is not managed. It can be difficult to diminish your risk of getting prediabetes and type 2 diabetes because both of these disorders frequently go undiagnosed and don't manifest themselves with clear signs and symptoms. Some of the most prevalent risk factors for developing prediabetes are having high blood pressure, a sedentary lifestyle, and being overweight. However, if detected at an early stage, there are a number of simple measures that may be taken to lessen the likelihood that you will acquire this illness. In this video, we will take a look at some of the most prevalent early warning indicators that suggest you might need to make some adjustments to your life in order to improve it. Keep a close eye on how much you weight. Keeping a close eye on your weight can be one of the simplest methods to figure out if you are at danger of having prediabetes. If you have recently put on a substantial amount of weight in a relatively fast manner, you put yourself at an increased risk of getting diabetes. When you put on extra pounds, your body needs to work harder to maintain its normal functions. When the organs in your body are overworked, they have less energy available to manage the levels of sugar in your blood. If you have put on a large amount of weight relatively fast, it is possible that your body is having trouble keeping your blood sugar under control. In this case, it's advisable to make an appointment with your primary care physician to find out the likelihood of your developing diabetes in the near future. Do you have to go to the restroom more often than usually? Changes in the frequency with which you use the restroom could be an early warning sign of prediabetes. If your blood sugar levels are not inside the typical ranges, you may notice that you have to urinate more frequently. However, if you are consuming the same amount of fluids as you normally do, frequent urination is often an indication of prediabetes. This is because diabetes and prediabetes are closely related. Because it can be challenging to identify the signs of prediabetes in its early stages, it is critical that you keep a close eye on your routines in the bathroom. If you find that you are going to restroom more often than usual, you should make an appointment with your primary care physician to check your blood sugar levels. In a similar vein, if you observe that your urine is darker than usual, you should consult with your primary care physician as soon as possible. Have you identified changes in the appearance of your skin? Alterations in the appearance of your skin are usually an indication that your blood sugar levels are outside of normal range. Changes in the texture of your skin, such as the appearance of dry patches, could be an indication that you are at risk for developing diabetes or prediabetes. It is possible that your body will not make enough insulin to meet its requirements when your blood sugar levels are outside of the typical range. Insulin is a hormone that enables your cells to absorb nutrients from your bloodstream, including minerals and vitamins. Insulin is produced by your pancreas. If your cells are unable to absorb sufficient nutrients, your skin may develop a dry and brittle texture as a result. Make an appointment with your primary care physician if you begin to observe changes in the texture of your skin, such as the appearance of fine lines or dry patches, so that he or she can establish whether or not you are at risk for developing diabetes. Skin conditions such as eczema, itching, and dry skin can be caused by diabetes symptoms such as high blood sugar levels, high blood pressure, and elevated cholesterol. Diabetes can also contribute to these skin conditions. Your doctor can help prevent the severity of these difficulties from escalating by monitoring you on a regular basis. If you already have diabetes or are at risk for developing the disease, preventing further skin problems by maintaining a balanced diet, exercising on a regular basis, and avoiding obesity can be helpful. Are there dark patches on your fingertips? Another symptom of prediabetes is the development of dark patches on the fingertips. If your blood sugar is high, your body will create less nitric oxide, which is a molecule that helps control the flow of blood through your body. It is possible that your body will not make enough nitric oxide to keep your blood flowing normally when you are at risk of getting diabetes. Make an appointment to see your physician as soon as possible if you discover that the tips of your fingers have developed a few tiny dark patches. Your doctor will most likely conduct a blood test on you during your session in order to establish whether or not your blood sugar levels are too high. If your blood sugar levels are higher than usual, your doctor may suggest making adjustments to your lifestyle to help decrease your blood sugar levels. 
These changes may include increasing the amount of physical exercise you get or decreasing the amount of sugar you eat. If your blood sugar levels are really high, you may be given a diagnosis of diabetes and medicine to assist bring down your blood sugar levels. Keep track of the fluctuations in your blood pressure. People with a higher risk of having diabetes are more likely to have high blood pressure. And if your blood pressure readings are already higher than 130 over 80, you may be at an increased risk of getting diabetes. Changes in your blood pressure may be something you become aware of if you have high blood pressure and are at an increased risk of getting diabetes. The range of values that constitute a normal blood pressure reading is 90 to 139 millimeters of mercury. If your blood pressure is consistently greater than this range, there is a possibility that you could develop major health problems. The presence of elevated blood pressure is a common symptom of prediabetes. However, if you notice a drop in your blood pressure, it may be an indication that your blood sugar levels are becoming better. Are there symptoms of inflammation in either or both of your eyes? It's possible that you'll notice changes in the way your eyes seem if your blood sugar is higher or lower than it should be. If you have high blood sugar, it's possible that your eyes will start to seem puffy. These symptoms might become more noticeable if you have high blood sugar and are at risk of developing diabetes. If you've been observing changes in the way your eyes look, you should make an appointment with your primary care physician to rule out the possibility of prediabetes. During the course of the examination, your physician will look for symptoms of inflammation around the eyes, such as redness and puffiness. These symptoms may indicate an infection. Additionally, he or she will examine the skin surrounding your eyes for signs of excessive stress, such as wrinkles or bags under the eyes, during this examination. Dryness, itching, and sensitivity around the eyes are three other symptoms that you should be on the lookout for. If you notice any of these symptoms, make an appointment with your primary care physician to discuss the most effective ways to treat them and to rule out the possibility of more serious condition, such as diabetes. Conclusion If you have prediabetes, it means that your body is having trouble regulating how much sugar is in your blood. This could result in a wide variety of symptoms, many of which are difficult to identify. It is essential that you acquire the assistance that you require in order to properly manage these symptoms because they might be brought on by a diverse set of problems. But if your blood sugar levels are climbing, there are a number of warning indicators that indicate you need to make some adjustments to your diet. It is imperative that you make an appointment with your physician as soon as possible if you are having any of the symptoms we listed in order to establish whether or not you are at risk of acquiring diabetes. Did you learn anything new from this video? Please let us know in the comments section. If you are interested in learning powerful ways to increase brown fat levels in your body, you can download my free ebook that shows you 7 nutrients that will increase your brown fat levels remarkably. The link is in the description. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and if you want more videos on nutrition and health, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.